Hello, everybody. In today's new receipt lesson, we are learning to add with and without trading. Let's get started. What is addition? Addition is the term used to describe adding two or more numbers together. The plus sign is used to show an addition. In this video, we're going to learn multi-digit addition. A multi-digit number is just a number with more than one digit. Two-digit numbers use two number places, like 32 has a 2 in 1's place and a 3 in 10's place. Have a look at this three-digit number, 215. It has a 5 in 1's place, a 1 in 10's place and a 2 in 100's place. But if you know your basic addition facts, no matter how many digits the numbers have, you can add any digit numbers easily. Let's start with adding two numbers without trading that you have already learnt about this week. Let's start by adding these two numbers together. The first thing we need to do is to stack the numbers up. And by saying that, I mean rewriting them on top of each other so they are like this. Uh-uh, not like this. Make sure you line them up nice and straight in their place value order. But here is the most important thing. Be sure to line them up so the number places are directly over each other. So that the ones place of the number on top is directly on top of the ones place of the number beneath it. And if you line up the ones places correctly, then the other number places will be lined up correctly too. 10 places will also line up and the hundreds places. Well, the bottom number doesn't have a hundreds number in its place, so we can imagine it's a zero, but we don't have to show it actually. After our numbers are lined up and ordered, we draw our line just below the numbers to write down the answer. We also put a plus sign down here on the left side to show that we are adding. Now we have columns on numbers and all we need to do is to add the columns. And this is the most important thing to remember. We always start with the ones place on the right and then work our way to the left. So in ones place we have a 5 plus 2 equals 7. Then move to the tens we have a 1 plus 3 equals 4. Then move to the hundreds 2 plus 0 equals 2. So the answer is 247. Now let's try another harder addition where we are required to do addition with trading or regrouping. So we have 1850 which is a 4 digit number plus 354 which is a 3 digit number. So as we already said, the first step is to stack the numbers up so that we have each number place column. Be sure to line up your ones places and draw a line just beneath the numbers to write the answer as well as the plus sign on the left just like in the last example. Again, we start with adding the ones places on the right and make our way to the left. So 0 plus 4 is 4, so a 4 goes in the 1's place of our answer. Now we have to move to the next place to the left, which is the 10's place. Here comes the tricky part. If you add the digits in the 10's place, 5 plus 5, you get the answer 10. But 10 is a 2 digit number. So we will need to use these in our answer but we can't leave the one in our hundreds place because we're going to need that space when we add our hundreds place. So to make space, what are we going to do? We're going to have to carry the digit that we don't have room for up to the top of the next number place column so that we can add it with the rest of the digits in that column. And that process of carrying the other digit to the next column is called trading or regrouping. Okay, now that we have carried that one, we can add the other digits in the hundreds column, which means adding up three digits now. One plus eight plus three, which equals 12. 
Hmm, another two digit number. Okay, it looks like we have to carry again because we're going to need this column spot for the next answer column to the left. So we're going to do the same thing that we did before and carry the one on the top of the next column on the left and leave that two behind in the hundreds place. And now just one more column to add up now in the thousands place we have one plus one equals two and the answer is 2204. Now let's make it a little bit harder and try these three numbers together. 145 plus 809 plus 77. So we start the same way. Stack the numbers up, making sure all the ones places are lined up in one column, all the tens in one column and all the hundreds in one column. We draw the line for the answers and the plus sign on the left hand side. And as always, we add up the numbers in the right hand column once first, 5 plus 9 plus 7 equals 21. Because the answer to these three numbers is two digits, we carry the first digit to the next column, which is like moving a group of 20 over and leaving the one behind in one's place. Now we add the next column, and now we have four numbers in this column that we need to add. So 2 plus 4 plus 0 plus 7 equals 13. Yes, that's another two digit answer. So we carry the 1 and leave the 3 in the tens place. Last, we have the hundreds place column to add. 1 plus 1 plus 8 equals 10. Oh, another two digit number. But this time we don't need to carry or trade because there's no more columns left to add. So we won't be getting in the way of any answers by leaving both the digits in the answers. So our answer is 1031. If you enjoyed watching this video or learned something new, please hit the subscribe and the like button. Thank you.